Hello, I'm here to give you a quick overview of the new iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad OS. It's called iOS 4, and here it is. Here's what it looks like. It, you can now have a wallpaper as your background. That's the first uh, new feature, is instead of just being black, you have a wallpaper. And you can change that by going to Settings, Wallpaper, and then you can choose from your camera roll or the ones that they have pre-installed. They have different ones. Uh, go with this one. You could set it as your. Now there's a choice to set lock screen, home screen, or both. So as you can see there, that works very well. And then there's folders. You can drag apps into each other to make folders. This one is social for social networking. You can make ones very simply. You could drag, just hold on it, and now drag it into another game. And you could just, it's already named Arcade Games, because that's what it is. So you just drag those in. Click the home button, and you click on, and you have a folder. Folders can also be dragged into the dock, so you can have them with, with you wherever you go. To any page. Another feature is mail. In mail, you could have your your inbox, and then you can have all inboxes, all the mail inboxes you have, come into one account, come into one view. Here's the new camera application. It now takes pictures much quicker. You can still tap to focus, and when you do tap, you get this zoom slider, and you you can zoom in on something. and take a picture and here's the videos as you're taking a video you can tap to focus in on different things also you can't zoom at the moment that might be available in the iPhone 4 might just be restricted for the iPhone 3GS but you can tap to focus as you're recording a video another new feature is you can create playlists right from the iPod application which you couldn't do previously you go to the top and you click add playlist and you name it favorite songs and you can add whatever songs you have in your library by clicking on them and then you just click done and here's that playlist I just created there is now also places in photos like there is in iPhoto on the Mac. You click on it and it get, puts a red thing of where you took that photo. You can s zoom in and you could click on it and then click it shows you how many photos and you can click the arrow to see. And it shows the places. Another new feature is you can now gift apps. You go to an app and then you scroll to the bottom and it says gift this app. And then you could go through that process to gift an app to a friend or family member. Another new feature is now in addition to auto correcting, there is spell checking. So if you're typing and you misspell a word, and autocorrect came up, but say it didn't. There's a red line that appears under, and you click it, and it gives similar ones that it could be. There you go, test. The most anticipated new feature of iOS 4 is multitasking. You can be in an app, double click, and switch over to another app. You can be online looking at stocks, and be taking notes and everything goes back to where it's left off there's no need to reload the application now this doesn't work that great right now because not all the third-party apps have built it into their software yet but when they do you'll be able to be in the middle of a game double click switch over to another app you'll be able to take a call you'll also be able to receive Skype calls when not in the app and you'll be able to answer them while Skype is running in the background.
also, if you have a music application such as Pandora, you can have that running in the background. Currently, that is not working because Pandora hasn't built it in yet. Currently, that's not working because Pandora hasn't built it in yet. But when it does, you'll be able to have it running in the background and swipe left, you could see which music app you have running, which right now is iPod because Pandora hasn't had it built in yet. You can click play and pause for the songs and you could go to the next song and pause it. There's also a screen rotation lock. So when you're texting, you don't want the screen turning, whatever it may be, you can lock the rotation. It shows up here like it does on the iPad. And you can lock and unlock it by simply swiping left and clicking on it. If you would like to quit an app while in multitasking, all you have to do is hold down on it, and there's a little delete arrow. This doesn't delete the app from your iPhone, it just quits the app, and you can quit through them. This iOS 4 software will work fully on iPhone 3GS. It will be limited on iPhone 3G, and it will not run at all on, an, on the first iPhone model. There is also support for wireless keyboards to use the a wireless keyboard with it. I will be demoing this in another video.